Okay, I've somewhat made the motion holder that's described in his work. Basically what it is is I've got a coil that's tied into right here and a coil that's tied into right here. Here's my plate that'll lock it together. See it's not magnetized. And what I'm going to do is use uh, just a, one single pulse out of the battery to magnetize it. So I've got a momentary switch right here that's controlling the power. Alright, it's charged up now. It actually can stay on there quite a while with uh with no power so it's taking on a different aspect of uh of electromagnet you know once you let go of electromagnet it's pretty much you know done but what he says in the book is what it's doing is actually magnetizing this <clears throat> and i'll show you in a minute something that's kind of phenomenal to me you know every time i mess with something i learn a little bit more or I uh, de-learn a little bit more or unlearn a little bit more so let me show you what I'm talking about okay now what I've done is just simply put a pickup coal right in here all right now what I want you to do is keep an eye on the meter I got it set to AC voltage Whenever I connect it, it picks up a voltage. And you can actually feel it. If you stick it to your tongue, it feels like a battery. So, I mean, it's definitely got some current to it. I'll try some different tests later, but there ain't nothing like the big old tongue test. Huh? Also, I want to show y'all me putting a magnet in the middle of it increases the current. <clears throat> Hold on, I'll find the magnet. Okay, now I've placed a magnet right in here. I want you to pay close attention to the meter. So I'm getting a half a volt AC just by disconnecting and connecting it. And it's actually pretty strong. It got a lot stronger with the, the magnet added. If I remove the magnet, it's hard to remove with one hand. I still got it, but it's just not as strong. What I'll have to do is charge it up again. And we'll think by doing this, I'm making the magnetic metal again. See, I'm going to leave a little damn, uh, little off so y'all can see it, pull it to it. I just charged that up. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect the power. And show y'all again what the pickup coil is picking up now that I charge it back up. And that's without the magnet on top. The magnet just will increase the current. Now that was just a little experiment. Now I'll show y'all again what I got. This is just a coil that's connected straight to the the U-bolt. It's another coil connected straight to the U-bolt. Positive and negative do matter. It matters how the coils are designed also if they're pointing forward or backwards. Uh, I'd suggest y'all reading the book to find, uh, find out a little bit more about it. But there's got to be something to this. I mean, making it's like a permanent electromagnet by just charging it once.